Daddy's home. Oh! oh. There he is. Hey. He does not disappoint, does he? Was that an actual flag that he just shrunk and? Brilliant. Oh, here we go. Jimmy Snaz. Hey, what's up, Naturescape? Oh! <laughs> Ready to go head to head with someone with three years of experience? I'm so terrified. Dude, she's still pissed. I hope you've been practicing. I know exactly what I did wrong, whereas I'm not sure if you knew even why you were down there or if you even admit that you should have been down there. I didn't go home, and you did. You said on my best day, I couldn't do a tattoo as good as you did on that day. You're right. I would do it way better than that, because what happened on my best day? I beat all of you guys. I didn't realize she was so feisty. I've heard enough of it and just want to get in there. Let's get in there. Let's go. Ah, you got a lucky shot. That's it. I got lucky. You were lucky you stayed. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't call that luck. Woo, hey, guys. What's up? What's up? Hey. Got some baggage brought with you. Yeah, and Jimmy Matt. brought his pants. Well, the <laughs> pants don't disappoint, first and foremost. <laughs> this is going to be so fun. <gasps> I'm trying not to take any emotional attachment. I'm going to leave my heart out of this, and I'm going to judge the best tattoos possible. I appreciate that, Clean. I expect nothing less. A whole different day, a whole different time. Yeah, there's no teams anymore. No teams, okay. no coaches. Good. Just me and you. Yeah. This needs to be squashed. We want to make the playing field as even as possible. So we're going to give you guys a 90-minute face-off tattoo, where we determine what it's going to be. Great. Ah, oh, sick. But whoever wins today's face-off is going to have an advantage, because that person gets to choose either the style or the subject of tomorrow's six-hour grudge match tattoo. I got it. Winner of the grudge match settles a score and ends this once and for all. All right, then. What do we got? What should we have him do for this face-off? Well, let's go back to this original grudge. How did this whole thing start? Naturescapes, right? Naturescape, yes. They had some problems with some wonky-ass animals, right? Yeah. Let's do a fish. Goldfish. Goldfish. I like goldfish. Color. Good is that going to give Jimmy the advantage over Angel, though? Because he's more of a color artist than she is. But. It doesn't have to be color. Okay. That's not fair. He okay. does color. She all right. doesn't. Okay. Okay. Let them choose. Calm down. As a black and gray talks. artist, it is a. Shrink a little when you talk to me. As a black and gray artist, it is a disadvantage being assigned okay. color. Right. I get it now. God. Okay, so 90 minutes, any kind of goldfish, any color. I'm ready. You? Yeah. Ding, ding, Angel's mother ding. Shit. Let's get it. Good yeah. luck, guys. Get to work. See you in a bit. All right. You excited for this goldfish, Jimmy? Yeah. How often do you do 90-minute tattoos? Oh, never. Well, I wouldn't if want you, you to bite off more than you can chew. Just don't do a cracker. You might lose. In our second grudge, season 10's Jason Elliott attacks the vulnerable Sparks. I just came to prove you wrong. Prove me wrong about what? You said I was too sensitive. You're like the bitch of season 10. <laughs> I like this dude. Now, Sparks is back to prove his worth. Your biggest mistake was assuming that I can't draw. Oh, I mean, I know you can, but not well. Jason and Sparks battling it out. On my season when I was a coach, Sparks was on my team. Jason, he liked to get into everyone's head. He, liked, he always liked to play the game. I think it's personal bullshit. We're here to tattoo, not be best friends. You got a weak personality that caves easy, so when they give you advice, all you do is just turn inward. I don't think my tattoo's the worst of the day. You were due from the start. It was already a sinking ship. Sparks wants to come back and prove himself. Put up or shut up, dude. If you got a, a beef, we'll settle it. Let's go. I wasn't really expecting Jason to attack my character and come after me the way he did. I just want to put his dick in the dirt. I want to prove to everybody, my old coach, my old competitors, hey, I do badass tattoos, and I want to prove it to the world. My main focus going into the competition was to scope out everybody that was there, find out their strengths and weaknesses, and play the game that way. Whack. Actually, that's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. In a competition, the biggest part is having mental strength. And Sparks just didn't show up with any. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make one. So if he's going to call me out for a grudge match, he better make sure that this time he comes with a lot thicker skin. Oh, shit. This is nostalgic. It there looks he like is. picnic spread. I think we're about to f some shit up in here. You could just look at Jason and tell that he has something that he wants to put in your back. What? Like a knife. Like, I mean, he's always thinking about the- He looks the... like he's going to a picnic. When the f is Mr. Sensitive getting in here? I got all day for this shit. 
Well, if it isn't the Heartless Wonder. Oh, look at that, Mr. Man. Shipwreck. Did you find a soul, or are you still using baby tears in your rinse cup? What does that even you practice mean? practice that one. Does that work? I just came to f prove you wrong. You said I was too sensitive. Bro, listen, you're, you're like the bitch of season 10. <laughs> I like this dude. Dude, I wasn't a bitch. I just had outsider stress, and I let it get to me. I give no about that. You either gonna do a good tattoo, or you gonna take your ass home. And that's what happened. You took your ass home. You were sinking shit from the beginning. Look, man, I get it. The easiest way I can do this is just put up and shut up and then earn your respect. Sparks seems pretty calm. Almost seems like Jason's not getting into his head this time, you know? Put all that know. aside. Yeah, it looked like he was getting in his I'm head pretty good. I'm gonna say that as well. <laughs> Let's go know. find out. Let's do this. I just hope you left that sympathetic shit at home and just brought skill. That's what the I came here to do, man. I just have to beat your ass. Enough with the mouth running. What's going on between you guys? He's a sensitive bitch. I can't have a bitch representing Texas. This can't happen. We're not a bitch state. No, that's true. We're a state with heart, and you have none. I'm happy you're back, Sparks, and I know you're a solid tattooer. Jason, it gets in your head like some fly, you know, and you're just like, ugh. Did you with him? Yeah, I with him. I thought he was weak. I mean, he was weak, because his ass went home. And that's why I'm back here, to just shut you the up. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you guys an even playing field with a 90-minute face-off tattoo. We get to choose what you guys are going to do. Tight. This dude does big shit all day. I know he's nervous. I'm ready to do any tattoo. I just, I just want to see this guy do a good tattoo. Just one. Hopefully you guys come out swinging, because whoever wins this face-off tattoo gets the advantage of choosing either the style or the subject matter of tomorrow's six-hour grudge match tattoo. The winner of that grudge match tattoo ends all this. Shuts the traps. So what do you want me to pick? <laughs> I like, I like that. Hey, that's confidence. Confidence. Yeah. confidence. I know he's nervous, so we're good. Sounds like we got a grudge. I like it. What are we going to do? This all started over, you know, mental warfare. It's your little brains. So, so 90 minute brain tattoos. 90 minute brain tattoos. I'm into that. Any style you want. You got it. Use them brains. <laughs> Use Don't your come brains. with half one today. Oh, man. <laughs> You hear that, man? They want you to do a clean, good tattoo. How are you feeling about that? Small. Are you going to be able to do something small? I think maybe you should just do a brain and a question mark, because you're probably clueless. What? All right, Angel and Jimmy, you guys have 90 minutes to tattoo a goldfish in any style. Hopefully, neither of you flop. Your face off starts now. Stands all time. Ready to party, Angel? Oh, yeah. Me and Angel, we couldn't be more polar opposite. She does black and gray realism. I do solid traditional tattoos. My experience is what's going to allow me to excel in this 90-minute challenge, because I know what I can get done in 90 minutes. I work in a street shop. It's bangers, 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 all day. Try to keep it cohesive. I don't have a lot of room for error in a traditional tattoo. Everything has to be intentional and on point. You only get one shot to make every line count. When they said goldfish, I was like, man, they gotta make this cool somehow. I know Jimmy's gonna come through on this tattoo, so I have to do something that's impressive and technical. Hopefully gonna have time to finesse it. There's lots of little folds and creases in my fish, and every fin has texture in it. These tiny little lines are hard to do without shaking. If I pull it off, it's gonna be really impressive. Swimming along at 60 minutes. We got 60 minutes, guys. How you doing, Angel? I'm sweating, dude. Sweating? Yeah. You ain't seen nothing yet. All right, guys. You ready for this? Jason, you gonna use your head on this tattoo? I'm ready to whoop his ass. Sparks, you ready to turn sparks to flame? Hell yeah, dude. Your 90-minute face-off tattoos of brains starts right now. Perfect. What do you think? Sweet. Rodeo started. I don't know what Sparks is thinking calling me out. I almost made it to the finale. You can't even get a participation award. Make sure it's your best tattoo ever. Always got to make sure it's your best tattoo. So I got a lot of elements in this tattoo. I've got the light bulb, got the face, I got the brain, and I've got a little activity outside the brain. I just want to get in there and do like really the subtle grays where the brain is actually behind in the bulb. Maybe I'm pushing the limits a little bit for 90 minutes, but no matter what, I'm going to whoop Sparks' ass. Just keep it simple and legible. 
You only got 60 minutes left on your face-off tattoos. My design is basically a brain in the shape of a heart. I think with my heart. It also has an all-seeing eye in the center because I see through this mental warfare bullshit that Jason's just tossing around. So what made you come back? I just didn't get to prove what I wanted to last time. I let my emotion get in control instead of just kicking back and doing fun tattoos. This guy has no idea what's coming for him. I have a clear head, so I'm coming full force this time. Somebody's got to put Jason in his place.